Hello and welcome to Architeasy. Some of you recently asked me here in the comments if I can show you the way how you can enhance the graphical appearance of your views and therefore I decided to make this video where I'm going to show you how you can level up the graphical presentation of the views in your Revit project and I'm going to do it in Revit 2024 using their new sample architectural file. If you have no Revit 2024 you can just go to the Autodesk website, sign up and download the trial. To be honest for this this one you don't need to have ready 2024 but if you would like to use the same file as I'm going to do then you can just install it and try it it's a great one let's just move to Revit and I really hope that you are going to enjoy in the next couple of minutes the first thing I'm going to do will be to open 3d view and then I'm going to duplicate it And now I'm going to the annotation categories. I will turn them off. Actually, it's been off, so I just need one category on, and it's section box. Now I'm going to enable section box and I'm going to adjust it. So I will just crop this big view to the sun borders, which I need to operate with the model. This seems fine and the next thing I'm going to do will be to add some colors in my color palettes in Revit. So I will open visibility graphics, we'll take any of the categories and then we'll just go here to the color and then I'm going to add them here. I mean you can take any of the colors you want or you can just go to the color books and add any of the Pantone colors you want. In this case I'm going to use the color palette from the web and it's this one from the color hunt and I'm going to use those three colors we'll skip this brightest one so what I'm gonna do will be to copy those values into the Revit file so what's important is to click on this small box and then I will add the values so the first one is 245 and then just click add and then go here on the second box and repeat the same process and when you are done with this just click ok ok i will click apply and what i'm going to do right now will be expand all we'll select all of them and then for the projection lines i will not override the pattern and the weight i will just override the color so I'm going to use for this, let's say this middle one. And then for the patterns, I will take solid and will take the brightest one. Let's say that the cut color could be this one, the darkest one, while the cut pattern will be also solid and it's going to be this middle middle color we'll click ok and now we will get the new look of the Revit file of the Revit view actually ok so you see that this seems fine but you know it's still kind of very flat so what we would like to do right now is to exclude some of the things some of the categories and the first thing i'm going to do will be to exclude floors so what i'm going to do will be to select those patterns for the floors and then we'll add something other like concrete while for the background we'll put solid color and then we'll put the white color there and you see how it immediately looks better but we are not done so this was actually the first way how you can exclude something but let me show you the other way and also you can use this second way to color the full model as well so i'm going to create a filter and i will make a new one we'll call it 01 let's say so here i will add furniture and furniture systems i can also add caseworks and I will just click fine 
and then we'll go to the visibility graphics we'll go to the filter and we'll add that filter this one it's enabled and it's visible and then i'm going to change the appearance here see how the furniture immediately looks different so if I again go to the visibility graphics to the filter and if I let's say I make this you see that it will be as is done uh, in our model categories overheads and I don't like how our fan things looks here you see they look very flat we don't see the contours very well so i will go to the visibility graphics we'll just decrease this a little bit let's say on 70 and then for the projection surface for the color i will take this darkest one and you see how they immediately look better and let's see what do we have yeah we see we have some entourage and then i will go again to the visibility graphics take a look at this part here you see and then i can also adjust the transparency a little bit so this is this is very good Yes, if we go here, you will see that the railings, they look a little bit different. And if I go to the visibility graphics again and to the railings, even we override everything, they look strange. So for them, I'm going to make a new filter. I will just duplicate this one. And I'm going to do some changes here, so we'll make it to look the same as, let's say, the walls. And when we are done with editing, the next thing we have to do is to find the proper angle of the view which we would like to present. And I'm going to make it, let's say, something like this then i'm going to go down there and we'll lock the view we'll turn off annotation categories and i'm going to turn on the shadows so you see that they are so so it's a it's a so big difference between the shadows and the highlighted parts and i'm going to fix it but before that let's just see how the sun is here yeah let's make it like this okay this is okay and i'm going here to the graphic display options we'll go to lighting and then we'll decrease the value for the shadows to let's say five and i can increase the sun to 50. we'll hit apply maybe this needs to be a bit stronger let's say on 10 yes something like this is a thing better we'll just click fine and what i don't like is our background i'm also going to fix it so it's the same place just go to the background sky and we'll pick this brightest color we have and you see how immediately the whole view looks better and we have one view ready but we would like to make one more view out of this one so i'm going to duplicate this one with detailing i will again just turn on our notation categories and we will unlock this view and what i can do will be just to scale this a little bit
Okay, so maybe, yeah, this is okay. I am now going to log this view again. And again, we'll turn this off. And now I'm going to make one more view. So I would like to show you how you can make a very nice section and how you can make the, let's say, orthographic and the perspective section. And let's just see how I'm going to make it. But as you could see in this section view, you don't want to have this very purple sky and I would like to get rid of it. So again, go to the graphic display option, background, and instead of sky, you can take gradient. Uh, instead of this first uh, greenish color, I will take our brightest color. And I mean, I don't, I don't like this bright color at the back. I'm going to replace it. I will put the white color. I think it's going to look better. Let's just see. Yeah, it definitely looks better. And if I would like to make the perspective out of this one, I can just go to the box, right click, perspective. And you see how it looks like. And you can adjust it. And of course, you can add some effects as well. If you would like, you can also make it to look a bit sketchy. So you can go here to sketch lines, enable, and then you can adjust it and play. So you see that you can get kind of the pretty nice views on a very simple way and very fast in a couple of minutes using our techniques. And I really hope that you are going to find this useful. Please let me know what you think about this in the comments. Of course, if you have any questions, feel free to write there. And don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much for watching.